today's message. Whatever God gives you, manage it well, and you will get more. You know, sometimes, you know, we say we want more money. Um, you know, we want a better job or anything like that. Um, we just got to manage what God gives us, and we manage it well, and God will give us more. You know, even in this economy, you know, when they say, like, it's a recession or, you know, things are going up or they cost more money, um, there's nothing to the believer. All God is just saying is, is just saying that we got to take better care of what God gave us so we can manage it. Matthew 25 and 20. So these are talking about the talents that they were giving. Um, it says the servant who has received five talents comes and presented five more. Master, he said, you've entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. Verse 21, his master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things enter into the joy of your master. So what God has given him, he has managed it. So I look at it kind of like as if, you know, somebody's having uh, more money because then we go to verse 22. This is a servant that had two talents. So verse 22, then the servant who has received two talents also came and said, master, you have entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. Verse 23, his master replied, well done, thy good and faithful servant. You have been the same thing. So even if, you know, somebody ends up having a million dollars and you have a hundred and hundred thousand or you have a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever it is, God is just saying, manage it and you will get more. Proverbs 28 and 20, a faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who makes haste to be rich will not go unpunished. Luke 16 and 20, whoever is faithful with very little will also be faithful with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So what is that saying? That's why you see you talking about managing it. A person can have a million dollars. That's why you see people that hit the lottery. Um, and then, you know, six months from now, the money is gone. They don't have anything. They didn't manage it well, you know. Um, and you can see people say, well, you know, I'd rather have a million dollars than, you know, be broke. It's like, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. But if you don't know how to manage it, what good is it? You're just going to have it for a little bit and then you're going to go back to the normal state of that. You know, that's why you see people, if they don't manage $100 well, um, they're probably not going to manage $1,000 or 100000 or a million. Because the same spending habits that they have with the hundred dollars is the same spending habits they're going to have with the million. You know, you're just going to buy bigger things or anything like that. You know, a lot of times, you know, I used to test people, you know, even at work, just casual talk. I'm like, hey, if I had a million dollars and I gave it to you or somebody gave it to you, what would you do? You know, a lot of times the first thing um, most people say, oh, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to do this. You know, and me, I'm like, listen, I'm going to give 10% to God, you know, saying then I'm going to pay off my debt. You know, that's the thing to get rid of that. You know, um, and just be smart about it and manage it. You know, I was telling somebody, I was like, you know, talking about putting money in a CD, you know, investing it, you know, saying rightfully like putting in a CD, just letting it sit or whatever like that. And then not only that, just just asking God, you know, what does he want me to do with the money? You know, and it's not saying that you can't go have some nice things or anything like that, but it's just like be smart about it. You know, some people, you have a million dollars, they'll go buy a $500,000 home. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe you should have maybe a, hundred thousand dollar home or something like that you know but you definitely just want to be smart about it and manage it well matthew 24 and 46 it says blessed is the servant whose master returns and finds him doing his job so we know the scripture says that um you know whatever we do you know work as if we're working for god you know because god reward us so if if god gives us these talents or the amount of money that we have and we manage it well he can give us more I mean, as you see in the scripture. So then you look at, you have, um, I was thinking the scripture. So again, we're going to read that on Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is the servant whose master returns and finds him doing his job. So there's a job that we're supposed to be doing, you know, with what God gives us. And then you look at Matthew 6, 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. So whatever it is that you may be seeking from God, you know, God will add it to you when you seek him first. So no matter. So 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 we learn that first we seek God first, Matthew 6, 33. Then after that, we end up, you know, we, we manage what we have, what God gave us. We manage it well and God will give us more. You know, and even when we bless people, when we put seeds in the ground, you know, when you give people something, or you bless somebody. Like I seen a guy yesterday give somebody um, shoes off his feet that didn't uh, 
you know, that, that didn't even fit the guy, but, you know, he just wanted to be a blessing. It was awesome to see that, you know, God is going to bless him even more. So just wanted to say, again, whatever God gives you, manage it well, and you will get more. So even if you're at a job that you want a better job, work at that job as if you're working for God and God will give you a better one or God will promote you. All right. Love y'all. God bless.